Starting off here, Coach, uh, Cougars entering, you know, with wins over Utah and Colorado at home this previous week. Uh, I mean, what can you just kind of say about those matches and then, you know, as far as adjustments and how the team you know, was able to come off on top on both? Yeah, first of all, um, great to get the two wins at home um, against two really tough teams. Um, this conference is absolutely crazy. We've played, you know, four matches, all top 25 teams, two and two. Um, you know, the first weekend at Washington and Oregon had chances to win as well. Um, and every single match in this conference is tough. So um, it was great to get two wins this weekend. And we will face, you know, more really good teams coming up um, on our trip to Arizona. But as far as adjustments, I still just think um, consistency is probably the biggest thing for us. Um, you know, it seemed like we came out against Utah. Um, you know, we were up 2-0. Um, you know, of course, they made some adjustments, and they're a very good team, and and came back and tied it up, and then we were able to win it in the fifth. But I just think that overall consistency um, from all of our players um, and every single skill is probably what we're just working on going into this road trip. Uh, you know, and talked about you know volleyball undefeated at home, you know five and zero in Bowler. Uh, as far as you know that fan atmosphere, how has that kind of helped? You know, as far as get to you know the team at this point. Um, it's huge. I mean, I think, uh, you know, football and soccer would probably agree to have that home court advantage and the fans there with you makes a really, really big difference, uh, especially for us in the Pac-12. You know, we play um, in a much different arena and atmosphere than every other team does. They all play in their basketball arenas, um, which are, you know, much larger, bigger. Even if you have a good crowd, it's maybe not as loud. Um, so the fans in Bowler Gym um, create a great atmosphere. And so just to reiterate, um, you know, every single time we're home, um, which won't be for a couple of weeks, but when we get back, you know, home to Bowler, it makes a really, really big difference. So just um, really glad to have the fans and the support that we have. Gotcha. And uh, we also saw, you know, some contributions on offense from multiple people throughout the week. Um, you know, what can you tell us about, you know, we talked a little bit about those adjustments, but just, you know, whether it's a coaching standpoint or just, you know, on the court, you know, with, you know, say Ashley getting the ball to different people, you know, how does that kind of go into a game plan? Yeah, I mean, we want to be as balanced as we possibly can be. And um, I think our middles, first of all, have done a fantastic job this season. If we can get them the ball, um, they have um, had great production numbers. So a lot of that starts, of course, with our passing. If we can pass the ball, I think um, just our efficiency, of course, goes way up. Um, but everybody really has done a nice job of contributing. Um, but again, that consistency factor, if we can get um, you know, kind of everybody just a little bit better, more consistent, um, you know, throughout the entire match, not just one game here, or one set here, um, you know, that that's going to help us down, not only this weekend, but down the road as well. And then, you know, lastly, looking ahead, you know, like you said, taking on Arizona State, Arizona, uh, you know, in Arizona as well, Friday, Sunday, uh, Arizona currently, you know, leading the Pac-12 in kills, and then you have Arizona State who leads in digs. So I guess how do you prepare for, you know, teams that kind of – you know, heavy on one, one stat and the other. Um, for sure. Arizona is um, very, very athletic and dynamic. And, um, you know, we're going to have to probably serve really tough to try and get them out of system and more predictable because um, we've been pretty good at opponent hitting, hitting percentage this year. So um, focusing on that. But, um, you know, they're a great team. They jumped us in the ABCA poll, as they probably should. They had a great win. Um, but... Just a, a great team, pretty young, um, you know, maybe have surprised some people so far. But um, and then, yeah, you get to Arizona State, who plays great defense. Um, again, we'll have to pass well to be able to be in system and and get our middles going and um, be pretty balanced offensively. But you're right, two very different teams and styles that we have to prepare for. So it makes, again, a tough weekend, especially on the road.